Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm, <clears throat> I'm here on the shield to recap the first of two NCAA tournament, first four games here tonight. Uh, I'm not here to talk about the 16 seed game. Here, to, uh, the first game of the NCAA tournament. And it's hard to believe it's already the NCAA tournament. This season's just flown by. And we'll have another uh, game here It's about to start with Virginia Colorado State. But this was a... Just a crazy game that come down to a, a great, great finish. Uh, Howard had a lot of looks to tie this game. Just what a finish between these two teams. Uh, between Wagner and Howard. Three good looks on that last possession. The second one, they could have called a foul. I couldn't tell if there was contact or not in that shot. But they got another off the rebound, another open look, and they just didn't fall. They had about two, good, two three good looks there. And they had a timeout they could have called, but you don't want you don't want a Wagner to set up their defense and try and think about fouling. I don't know why Howard or uh, Wagner didn't foul to begin with. That was kind of questionable why they didn't foul because you're risking up a three to tie the game. They had a big lead there with like three minutes left. They had a 13 point lead, but then Howard hits back to back threes. They force a few turnovers, and all of a sudden you look, it's a three point game. But ultimately, Wagner was able to hang on and win its first ever NCAA tournament game. So congratulations to Wagner, win the first ever NCAA tournament game. But, game. but congratulations, you get to play number one North Carolina on Thursday in Charlotte. Congratulations, you get to play the one seed. But man, this is the best time in sports. I'm, but I'm, I was kind of surprised Howard did, didn't get the foul call on the that second three-point, uh, on that second three attempt, regardless of Wagner hang on. I, the clock operator probably seen there's a foul because the clock stopped at 2.7 for like half a second. Kind of gave him another chance, but ultimately they just didn't score. Um, Wagner uh, really outplayed. Howard really most of this game, first half, and most of the second half until late there when they just started turning the basketball over. They did a good job the first, most of that game, first half and a majority of the second half, not turning over the basketball. They only had like four turnovers, but then they turned over three times there late in the game and really gave Howard a shot at winning this basketball game. Or they turned over four times, excuse me, really gave Wagner, or gave Howard a chance to win this basketball game. And not found there, gave him some open, and really Howard got some good looks, they just... Wagner's just lucky they didn't fall. First half, uh, Wagner outscored Howard 38-27. Uh, Wagner's locked in defensively. They, they shot the lights out. Also, I mean, I guess they kind of didn't shoot the lights out. Um, Donald Copeland um, did have to man... kind of had to manage some foul trouble over the final 20, but it was a fantastic start for Wagner besides Donald Copeland into foul trouble. I mean, they shot well in the first half. Thirty-eight, or they made it was like eight of. I forgot they were. They, I think they made eight shots in the first half. They really didn't get to the free throw line a lot. Nine free throws. They made did miss a lot, but they hit two clutch free throws there, and when it was a one point game. But they shot well. They were attacking the basket, and then they shot the lights out from three. It felt like in the second half they were like eight of fourteen. It was a uh, Melvin Cantor Jr.'s night, 21 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds. He even pulled up from the logo early in the game. He was getting to the basket with ease. He had two steals as well. Melvin Cantor Jr. was the reason they won this game. And just Donald Copeland's Wagner team is just shot of a cannon in Dayton. Like the the NEC champions are typically known for their defense, but they started nine of fourteen from the floor. So they start off hot in the first half behind Melvin Council Jr. A trans a JUCO transfer, and he's had a fantastic year. Uh, Melvin Council Jr. is a great player, man. Uh, Julian Brown, fifteen points, hit, hit two clutch free throws there. Um, Keontae Lewis, 10.7 rebounds. Uh, Javier Urquiz, as as Quira, 6 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds. Um, Taj Kelton, 7 points, 5 rebounds. T Teron Allen, 10 points, 4 rebounds. It's crazy how this team only plays 7 players, but they've made it this far into the first round of the tournament. 
Uh, Seth Towns, 16 points, 3 assists, 5 rebounds. The 26-year-old season's over. Um, Bryce Harris, 16 points, 6 rebounds. So, Seth Towns and Bryce Harris on the majority of the scoring. Uh, Dom Campbell off the bench, 6 points, 8 rebounds. Uh, uh, Isaiah Warfield, 9 points, 4 assists. Uh, Jordan Harrison, 8 points, 2 assists, 5 rebounds. Uh, Marcus Dockery, 9 points, 3 assists, 2 rebounds. Uh, Howard started to make a few threes. Um, down 67 54 started to get momentum they two in a row started to get some momentum turned up the turned it up defensively and they had three good looks there at the end man just they could have made one of those there's one that could have been a foul couldn't really tell if there was or not but wagner shot 52 percent from the floor 47 from three and the turnover from didn't really become an issue until that late in that game. Wagner will have to clean that up heading to North Carolina. They got to play pretty much perfect to try and beat North Carolina. But Wagner's not a team that's really known for offense, but their offense played pretty well throughout this whole game. So, yeah, it's really out to say here. Uh, so, until next time, have a lot. Peace. And I'll be back for the second game later on tonight.